Hello, everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Crosshair from the Bad Batch in Star Wars. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. Well, for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, bad batch, crosshair bad guys. Now what I mean by that is, it, I was talking about this in one of the last ones, is these are troopers. They end up all being bad guys, right? Well, who knows with the Bad Batch, but uh, I mean, stormtroopers are bad guys, and it just—it's just crazy how we're 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 watching them and we're liking them and we're we're impressed. And you guys want me to draw them, and and they're in so many words heroes in the Clone Wars, right? Everybody has their favorite Waxer, or Boyle, or Cody, and whatnot because. They're, they're, you know, in so many words, they're, they're, they're army heroes. Then, after, after uh, Order 66, they're all bad guys. You know what I mean? It's just crazy how all of a sudden everybody's obsessed with these guys, but they're bad guys, you know? Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody loves a bad guy. I mean, Darth Vader, come on. You can't get any better than that. Admiral Thrawn, everybody loves the bad guys, you know? They're... A little cooler, you know, a little, little, uh, I don't want to say cooler, but they're a little more, oh, that, what's, 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 because I'm not trying not to glorify, they're a little more, you know, um, edgier, there you go, a little more edgier, and the edgier, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? not so much that it's cool and mysterious, right? A little more mysterious. Like, ooh, who is this guy? What is his trip? What is his secret? What's going on? What is he what drives him? You know, something like that. Um So that's kind of the the the, the pull of the bad guy, right? The, the the mystique and the quality that everybody's interested in. It's like, ooh, what is this guy about? edginess, right? Cad Bane, all those guys. It's like there's something, something mysterious about them, something a little edgier that keep, kind of keeps our attention. So that's what I mean by they're not, not really cool, they're just uh, uh, mysterious, you know, and the, the mystery is intriguing. They're, they're, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. They're more intriguing than, than superheroes, or not superheroes, but good guys, you know? So that's, that's what I'm trying to say, is like I get it. I get it. All these guys are intriguing because you know where a hero is coming from. You know what's driving him. The bad guy is a little more, I don't want to say mysterious, a little more questionable. You, you, you never know what they're going to do, right? And that's kind of what I'm going for. It's like, yeah, um, with a hero, you know what they're doing. You know where they're going. You know... And yeah, it's good, because that's why they're called heroes. They're, I don't want to say predictable, but, um, you know, I mean, necessary. You know, you want, you want to have good qualities in a person. But again, it's a little, there's no mystery. It's like, okay, cool, awesome. Lando's, Lando's going to jump in the ship and save everybody. Awesome. That guy's great, you know. But when it comes to bad guys, we're like, ooh, ooh, what's this guy? What's he gonna do? Because you never know. It's 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 like he could turn, he could help you, he could burn you. You know, and that's that's kind of the intrigue of ooh, ooh, a mystery, you know. <laughs> so like I said, I get it for bad guys. What I think is crazy is how everybody is, you know, in so many words in love with troopers when they are technically bad guys that's that's where i'm getting coming from is that's that's 
I don't want to say crazy, but that's um, interesting to me how Star Wars has taught us to to love the bad guy. Isn't that crazy? Sorry, I gotta concentrate real fast. Okay. Um, yeah, so I figure for his gun, for his weapon, I'm gonna do, like he's holding it just out to the side. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Also, I, I I can't draw it exact. I'm trying. I'm trying to get as close as I can, but you know, I, I, I'm not. We're not here to draw weapons. We're here to draw troopers. But his weapon is kind of a big deal, right? So I'm trying to get as close as possible as possibly can. But. Uh, You know, like I said, I can only go so far. I may use a ruler just to try to get it straight across. My window's open so I can hear dogs barking out there. So if you if you hear a dog, you're not going crazy. It's uh, neighbors out there. You know what? I don't think I've drawn a single backpack on anybody because they're they're kind of all over the place whether they wear them or not. Like when they're when they're without their helmets, they don't have their backpacks. When they're when they're uh, going into battle, I guess they have the backpacks. But I'm not too worried about it. You know how it's just a big square. That's all it really is. So I'm not too worried about that. What I do want to get right, though, is like make it look like he's wearing a helmet, because if nothing else, I, I've got to make it look like this character actually has a helmet on. You know what I mean? So I, I want to make sure that it looks like somebody's head is inside this, because the last thing you want to do is draw it too small, and then you're like, oh, well, that, how's, someone, how's someone's head in there, you know? I really appreciate, and I'm just going to go, kind of jump onto my my uh, little soapbox here. So I really appreciate that the Star Wars, like the Black Series figures, that they're designing them with removable helmets because they're making them so it looks like, well, obviously it has to fit inside, like someone is actually wearing the helmet, you know? Because the worst thing you can do in a drawing or figure is make the helmet too small that there's no way a, a head fits inside there, you know? It's got to look believable. So I think that's good right there. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think that's good. That's gonna that's gonna be chance whether I get that <laughs> right or not anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. So I say we welcome. Oh no, hang on. Let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast, then we can get going. Because um, what I normally do is I just throw down sketch lines first to try to get the positioning, positioning, placement, and proportions. Right, the three P's. Then when I'm confident about those, I start pressing harder, and those are confidence lines. And I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil line. So when I start erasing like this real lightly, I erase the sketch lines, but I'm not pressing hard enough to erase the confidence lines. So, so many words, we're following our confidence, getting rid of our sketchiness. 
And that's how you live your life. Follow your confidence, get rid of your sketchiness, and you'll do many, many amazing things. And I'll be there supporting you because you are awesome. All right? Then let's go, Mr. or Mrs. or awesome person. How's that? Let's uh, welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the sharper portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pencil is higher than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't find. Fine. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Star Wars, check out that playlist right there. Or just check out the playlist in general because I do so many that I may have already drawn what you're looking for. If not, give me a shout and we'll see what we can do. So... Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to draw his visor and uh, I'm just jumping right in. There's the little, the little crosshair circle there. And I'm not going to color in the visor. I'm going to do that with color. I'm saying I'm not going to blacken it all in like this. I like to do it with, with color at the end. Then it connects down the middle like that. So I'm gonna stop right about here and here to bring it down. So now I'll just bring it back up. Go across and bring it up. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Don't worry about that. Try, but don't worry about if it's not straight or perfect or what it is, just draw how you want. See, cause even that thicker there, thinner, yeah, I don't care, no big deal. I'm going to draw down to the mouth portion. I know it's not a mouth, but it's like, like I say with the, the regular stormtroopers, the little frowny mouth. It looks like the mouth of a mask, so that's why I call it that. And I've already sketched it out, so that's why I know where I'm stopping. So just, you know, bear with me. Draw along with me. Here's his little frowny mouth. Like that. Looks good. And this is where all that stuff is going to connect. So let's draw his little inside respirator like that. And then uh, now normally I don't draw all the lines where it curves and go like that, but his do connect. He does have um, curve points because that's separate from that is basically what I'm trying to say. Then I'll, I'll draw here. Let's do it now. Um, no, hang on. Let's let's finish up the little respirator part. Now I'm going to start to thicken up my outer edges a little bit. You don't have to, especially if you're working with pencil. You draw how you want, because this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. We'll meet somewhere in between. But I just want to explain to you why I'm drawing like that. Why I draw how I draw. When I switch over to this Sharpie, it's going to be a huge difference in line width. So I'm trying to match where it's going to end up going. And like I said, that's just because I've done this so many times, I know how it's going to look. So I try to keep it consistent and keep all the line work the same. Okay. Like I said, if you're working with pencil, it might look crazy if you're doing it. So you don't have to. I just want to explain to you why I'm doing that. There are little grooves, but I'm thinking I'm going to do that with color. I'm not worried about that. The little lines in his, his helmet right there. I'm just going to do this. His little cheekbone lines. Right? This will be the side of his head, coming up like this. And then I can connect those two. And then this is going to be the side of his head. And again, I'm going to thicken up this edge. And that's going to be where his visor is going to be. Now, um, it looks like, let's see if I can find a good picture. Yeah, there is like another like top level here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Like a, um, I don't think it moves, but it looks like a whole separate, like this. Connect them there. 
enough it looks like it enough that it's like this is one piece that I want to make it solid I want to make it there you know okay now I'm gonna draw the dome it doesn't matter if it comes out perfect I'm not worried about that I'm gonna try but I'm not I'm not upset with with it not being perfect that's not bad that's not bad what I'm just trying to teach you there is it's okay if it doesn't come out perfect don't worry about that try sure but whatever happens happens because this is one time this is probably not the only time you're gonna draw it so maybe the next time it comes out smoother the next time it comes out worse who knows just keep trying that's not bad I can live with that let's draw his his uh, little um, uh, what do you call that little eyepiece I'm gonna try to make a hollow let's see what I can do here There you go. I'm doing that because I'm going to color it in. If you just want to do one line for that, go for it. Do what you want. You you do what makes you happy. Don't be upset with it's got to be like this or it's got to be like that, you know. And it looks like it's clear, so I'm going to try to do I know I'm probably adding too many details to it, but I'm going to try to do like a hollow thing like that and then we'll do the other part. So that's good. Again, I'm gonna keep it nice and light. I'm switching over to the big Sharpie now. Um, now he does have, I gotta remember to draw this, he does have this weird, I don't get it. it. It's cool design, but there's no point in it. The thing that's going across his arm, what is that? Anyway, Here's the other thing, you gotta draw what's in front first, so when you draw what's behind, you're not accidentally drawing through this top part, you know what I mean? So, his gun is in front of everything, so I gotta get it get there, then I can draw what's behind him. So, I'm gonna draw his um, holster, like this, coming down, and I'm gonna stop right there, because there's gonna be more to it, but I gotta draw all this first. We gotta get there. Um, his shoulder pad, you can see it out like this and then his arm or his bicep I guess is what that is but again um, hang on because no I guess we can do that oh no the, the holster is gonna be there too okay so hang on we're gonna come down here we're gonna do the holster bullets like this I'm gonna stop there because again the guns gonna come in just give me a second um, his forearm his uh, Yeah, it's forearm piece, and it's got extra stuff on it, so we kind of have to just bear with me that I'm going to draw random things real fast, but it's just because of the way his hand is positioned. Like, here's his hand, okay? And then forearm is like this. Like that. And your elbow is in here, but you can't see it because, again, what's in front? But it does have a little bit of armor design, so to speak. And it doesn't look like there's anything in the uh, bicep piece, so I can do that. Now, I've got him holding his gun, so I'm going to draw his hand piece, the, what do you call this, that piece. I don't know why I'm trying to name everything. Like that then the finger is holding the gun. So, I've got the trigger finger going through like this. The other ones are down, almost the same look. You, you, it's hard to tell what's raised and what's not. Like that, like this is higher because like I said, it's raised up a little bit more, but it's almost hard to even see that there's a, a difference. See what I'm saying? Like you can't tell, I'm doing that, but you kind of can't tell by this that you know that it's it's raised but the point is is um, that let me do some more of the finger right 
there so you can see where it's going. But the point is that um, I got, I, I'm able to draw the gun now, and the gun I'm kind of I'm kind of making up. So you know, excuse me if it's not perfect, but uh, I, I'm I'm getting as close as I can get. Okay. Uh, with the sharpie, I mean with the sharpie with the ruler to get it straight across. But I don't know. I think I can eyeball it, and I think that's good enough. Now I got his hand holding the other side over here. So let me go ahead and do that and show you where we are because this is wrapped around and again I'm gonna have to just draw it and then add some detail because again I want that on top of the gun okay so sometimes you kind of have to you know pick and choose what you can see because of what you're gonna draw on top, that kind of thing, you know? And so his, his little hand piece, we're gonna draw like that. It, well, let's do this, you can see his forearm. So let's just draw like this. This is going back underneath the gun, there's his elbow and it's going up, and there you go. That's all we really gotta draw for the forearm. But you see how it is, that he's now holding his gun. And we're gonna add a little, little bit of tech, a little bit of space space design on there okay but now I can finish up like some kind of little like gun design and again it's not perfect I know and I'm sorry that it's not gonna be perfect but I'm okay with that alright so the barrel is coming through here or the handle not the handle I guess the the butt, the butt of the gun is back here. And that's why I wanted to make sure that I stopped before I drew this uh, little strap, right? Now, so here I'm just gonna go across and I'm just gonna kind of draw little bumps, little space bumps. Just to make up with the, you know, the, the, the look of the gun. So like I said, it's not perfect, it's not exact. I get that. I'm also not worried about it. Let's see, let's give him some kind of scope. Let's connect it right here. And then draw something. Now, again, I've sketched it out, so I'll add some more detail there in a second. Um, let's just go with what I did here. So, it's gonna go this way, so I'm gonna do this. Just to kind of complement the design that they did in the Black Series figure. I wanna do like this, then go across. That's what I'm looking for for reference. Like, I've got pictures of what the gun looks like, but not in this position, so that's why I'm kind of making it up not worried about whether it's perfect not bad and there you go again not perfect could be straighter but it's done all right so now I just want to add just a little bit of detail manufacturing detail what I usually say about that is Someone designs this, someone makes this. Like uh, there's a company that, that obviously uh, works for the Empire and makes all these weapons. So I kind of like to think that. It's like, okay, let's say if someone's manufacturing this, how would it look being put together, you know? And so that's why I say, it's like, we're gonna make manufacturing lines. So if nothing else, it breaks up the monotony and um, we're trying to make it look, like I said, like it was designed. And also let's break up the negative space by adding something like that, okay? 
But that's, I'm not gonna go too crazy. I think that's good. I don't think we should go any further because that's, that's pretty good right there. But again, that's what's in front. So now all you gotta do for behind is, is draw what you can see. And so again, his other shoulder pad is gonna be like this. And then that, that crazy piece, I'm gonna go ahead and draw it out like that. Again, I don't know what that's for. It, it seems a little silly to me, but again, I think it's just aesthetics. I think it's a design is all it really is. Okay, so that's all we gotta do for the arm. You can't really see anything else. Maybe you can see like behind it through like that, uh, but you can't really see anything else anyway. So I'm not too worried about everything else, you know? Again, it's planned of what you can see in front, what you can see in behind, that kind of thing. So same thing with his chest. We're kind of we're kind of limited now with uh, the detail we can put in, but not limited in a bad way. I mean, it's designed. I think it's designed well. That's all I was gonna say. Is like it's designed well. Well, I designed it, <laughs> so that's kind of braggy, right? Uh, but it, it's 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 placed well. How's that? So for his chest, all you can really see is the back side like this coming in going up and that's it and so now we're gonna draw the bandolier coming down to his belt like this right there coming down connecting right there and then uh, the belt like this go ahead and do it all the way across and it looks like he's got another gun attached to it so I'm gonna have to draw a piece coming up like this and let's go ahead and connect his waist here. Finish that up. Draw this belt out this way. Or that side of the belt, really. Um, not a lot of detail I can put into it because, like I said, it's, it's, uh, just a belt. Maybe we'll do like that, just to give it some, some, some difference, you know, some, uh, change in the monotony, not the monotony, sorry, change in the, uh, negative, uh, space. So just, there's nothing there. So, okay. Like I said, he's got a gun over here. So I'm going to draw like a holster. And because the gun is holstered, that's the name of the word, the name of the word. That's the, uh, the, the, Look, I'm just drawing. <laughs> so all you can see is this much of the gun is what I'm trying to say, because it's in the holster. Like that. Okay, awesome. All right, so he's got his armor piece for his crotch. And now we're gonna draw his legs. So it's kind of coming up here, go down, and I want to draw what's in front first. That's why I'm drawing this one down to his knee pad. Like that. Um, let's just go ahead and draw the knee pad. Nothing too crazy. It's funny, I say this for uh, a lot of characters that they they did a lot of crazy design, look at all this, then when we get down to the feet, it's like, ah, just put some armor on him. <laughs> you know, don't don't worry about too much about it. Um, same thing for his knee pads, like, ah, just, just give him some knee pads. All right, so this one's going up here like this. Don't let's see this much of the knee pad. Um, we're gonna connect it. Obviously, it's got to be connected somehow. Then I could draw the rest of the armor coming through like this, back behind this leg, because of the uh, the way he's standing. Let's go ahead and draw some. Ooh, I'll do that in a second. Let's draw some some uh, crease lines and also armor lines. So I love the armor how it does like this. It splits off, right? Something like that. It's really, I just, I just, something about their armor I just really love. Um, 
with those lines. Um, again, the knee pad is just there. There's not much I can really do there. So same thing with the, the legs. We're just going to draw back of the armor. This. And it does have a weird indention. Like that. And connecting up here. I don't know. Just something they did. Something they designed. Because I don't see... Uh, like it's not segmented. It's just an extra raised indention. I don't know why. Something like that. Crazy. Okay, so let's just do the boots. They're all lace protector boots. And then I'll add detail in a second. I'm just gonna finish this up and then give it a little, a little juge afterwards. We're looking at the front view, so you can't really see any of that right now anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to draw the lace protector part. This puts more pointed at you. And then I'll add some detail. So like I said, oh, let's do that. Let's do the little whatever this is. Um, that's it for armor. You know, there's, it's just... It's just uh, lumps and chunks. That's all I can really say. Lumps and chunks. Um, let's do the old Boba Fett toe lines. The old Boba Fett shoe. But there you go. I'd say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Crosshair from the Bad Batch. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own. Because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.